Welcome to Trendwatch, your source for the latest in fashion and style. On this episode, luxury accommodations, Parisian style, and designer Isabel Toledo takes the reins at Anne Klein. Hi, I'm Minnie Anden. Three rooms, a hotel concept that successfully caters to the art and fashion crowds. Tucked away in the Marais district of Paris, awaits five Rue de Moussy, the haven of iconic fashion designer Azadine Alaya, known as Three Rooms. The Three Rooms, five Rue de Moussy, is not a hotel, it's a guest house. Chic apartments such as this are becoming the fashionable way to do luxury accommodations. The five Rue de Moussy will give you this uh, feeling to be like home. The 18th century building is home to three spacious apartments, each consisting of a living room, bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen. Elia decorated each one himself with modern furnishings. He wanted to create a place where visitors would feel at ease when exploring the city. Many visitors hope to catch a glimpse of the designer at his boutique and atelier, which are adjoining the three rooms. Walking distance to cafes, shops, and historic Place de Vosges, 5 Rue de Moussy offers a unique experience within the City of Lights. I think the experience the guests uh, will uh, keep when they leave, the feeling to lift like a real Parisian. A well-defined design aesthetic made her an industry favorite for years. And now, Isabel Toledo's unique point of view will have an even broader appeal as she takes over the design helm of one of American sportswear's most beloved brands. For 20 years, Cuban-born Isabel Toledo has been considered one of America's most accomplished avant-garde fashion designers, more recognized in art books and museums than in mass marketing. We first caught up with her in 2005 when she was nominated for the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund. I like to make all different kinds of feeling in clothes because women have different moods at all times of the day, so I, I like to be able to address every single one. A prophetic statement indeed as she begins creating a new mood for Anne Klein as we learned on a recent visit to the revamped showroom. Lion Logo personally interpreted. What I'm bringing into it differently is my sense of detail, my sense of couture, very hands-on. It's not just the fast message, it also has a lot of detail and it's got a lot of depth. Her love of the technical craft of making clothes has not diminished, nor has her signature seaming, cutting and draping. While her personal collection may feel circular, Anne Klein feels graphic. The way that I look at my work with Anne Klein has been through the mold of a square and the connections of coming together of lines intersecting as opposed to the flow of a line. This is a dress that's all soft, it's jersey, but I was trying to capture architecture. Fall is called couture haberdashery, men's were inspired, but decidedly feminine, like this red shirt dress. Whether designing her own line or her new venture, one of Isabel's greatest inspirations remains her husband, painter and illustrator Ruben Toledo. It's still same hip action. Same shape, yes. Theirs is a true partnership in every aspect, from inception to completion. For 20 years we've had exhibits of our work together, and I can't really say where does one start and one end, but there's such a marriage. And the marriage continues here. He sketched her entire fall collection, a collection she had only a month to create, and one that has won rave reviews from the industry. It was just a great runway show with great wearable clothes that had a lot of style and had statement. And to do what she did in the time that she did was pretty amazing. She created a whole collection from bags to shoes to hats even. I mean, she thought of the total person, and from the, on that, she's going to build. Isabel follows in a long line of iconic Anne Klein alumni, from Donna Karen and Louis Delolio. So honoring the roots of those who came before her, not the least of which was Anne Klein herself, Isabel is excited about the challenge before her. It's a work in progress. I think even from one collection to the other, I've expanded. I feel fuller and I can't wait for the next runway show.
Thanks for watching Trendwatch on shopvogue.tv. Be sure to tune in to more episodes and don't forget to shop the shows. Thank you.